Hey YouTubers, welcome back to Nime Tutorials. Today we are going to explore the Table Column to Variable node. This node provides a way to parameterize our workflow, allowing us to create flow variables in mass and pass them all into our workflow simultaneously. Let's get started. <laughs> The table column to variable node is incredibly straightforward. It just takes the values from a table column and converts them all to individual flow variables. If you're unfamiliar, flow variables are ways for us to dynamically parameterize our workflow and are represented by red ports and red lines in NIME. The NIME website explains this as, Sometimes a node's configuration depends on a parameter derived from the data and suitable to the task. Like for example, when you want to filter rows by the most popular product, rename a column according to the current month, or prompt a user to provide the input. Flow variables are such parameters. They make your workflows parametric, more flexible, and automatic. Within our workflow, a flow variable name will stay the same and depending on established conditions set forth in the workflow, the value of the flow variable is what changes. This can be user-driven or automated. This allows us to have pre-configured nodes that process known flow variables. It's just their stored value that changes. Flow variables are an advanced topic, but once you get the hang of them, your workflows will never be the same. See the video description below for links to more discussions about flow variables in NIME. In this video, we are going to work with two examples. The first explores a component that creates a path to the typical user downloads folder on Windows and Mac OS, allowing us to easily explore files in these locations or automate file read-ins for convenience. The second example uses a random RGBA color generator so we can randomly color some plots. I have the workflow open here. Please see the link in the description to download the workflow and feel free to follow along with the video. The first example we will explore is the path to user downloads component. This component is designed to point to the default location of the user's download folder. For more functionality, we can add the newest file not Excel component and pull in the newest version of a downloaded file. Together, these components allow us to easily add automation to our workflows by allowing for pre-configured and auto-updating file read-ins. I've also included a basic list files folders node in example one, which in this example, just lists files in the downloads folder. As a note, we could easily hop in and reconfigure the pathing in the path to user downloads component so it points somewhere else. The nice thing here though is that it should execute without configuration for Windows and Mac OS users. There are additional layers of complexity you can add to this concept, but for this video we are taking a straightforward approach. Right click the component and in the component option menu select open. We can also hold the control on Windows or Command key on Mac OS and double click it to open. Inside the component we are using the table column to variable node for two specific purposes. In this first instance of the node we need to take the output system properties information from the extract system properties node and convert the values to flow variables. No looping is required, we just configure the table column to variable node. We just select the column we want converted to variables, which is the value column in this case. We decide if we want to skip missing values, and we do. If we leave the box unchecked and have missing values, the node execution fails with the following message. Execute failed, missing values are not allowed as variable values. Click OK and execute. All rows in the column will get converted to variables. Something to keep in mind here. The row IDs coming out of the Extract System Properties node are very descriptive. If our row IDs are row 0, row 1, row 2, etc., then those will become the names of our flow variables. 
If we look at the flow variables output of the table column to variables node, we see our newly created variables. By connecting the variable out port to the column expressions node, we essentially inject the new variables into our workflow, making them accessible to any node down the line. We use these flow variables in two locations. First, we use the os.name variable to create a Boolean flag in the column expressions node. Then we use the user.name variable in the string manipulation node to build the path with this simple join expression. The second way we use the table column to variable node is to isolate a single value from a single column in the data. While the table row to variable node would achieve the same result here, it would introduce more variables than we need. To isolate the single row of the specific column, in this case the path column, we can just use the table column to variable node again. For the second example, I built a random RGBA color generator. To configure the component, simply double click and enter the number of random RGBA color codes you want generated and the opacity value. Let's open the component. Inside our choices pass into a loop that iterates for our requested number of colors. Once the loop is complete, we add descriptive row IDs to differentiate these flow variables from others and finally convert the entire column of random RGBA values into flow variables using the table column to variable node. In this albeit quirky example, we can see how having access to many flow variables can impact our workflow by allowing for unlimited and if necessary, totally random parameterization. After passing the flow variables into our workflow via the data generator node, we add some plots via the line and scatter plot nodes. These plots are designed to showcase the colors. On the flow variables tab of the configuration windows of the plot nodes, we can select from our generated list of flow variables and change the background data area, and grid colors in our visualization. Some of NIME's data visualization nodes do not accept RGBA color codes, so be mindful and check first before you try to pass in the values. After we set these colors, let's look at the output. While admittedly not the most aesthetically pleasing visualization, we have successfully applied randomly created colors via flow variables to a node in our workflow. Have fun with this. If you ever need a pile of RGBA color codes, you know where to generate some. That's it for the table column to variable node. As we saw, this can add convenience to our workflow and make managing some types of flow variables much easier. Remember, NIME is a free download for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, and offers everything from data wrangling to deep learning in an incredible, extensible sandbox. Please like and subscribe, and happy NIMING.